Uh, welcome to Cassiopeia Berlin, where I have uh, Excretion with me. First of all, guys, could you tell me a little bit about the band called Excretion? Who and what are you? Ah, sure. Uh, so Excretion is a death metal band, I guess, uh, from Norway. Um, at least we started out a very uh, strict death metal, and then since we've done this for like 10 years, incorporated more progressive elements, some black elements, and now it's more of a fusion, I guess, of various extreme metal things. And uh, right now we're, we've been on tour through the north of Europe, and we're getting ready to play here, Cassiopeia, tonight. Okay, and uh, who is playing in the band? Ah, so I'm Chris, I play the guitar and do the vocals. Uh, I'm Jürgen, I also do vocals and the uh, guitars. And then there is Kato, who's the drummer, and Jonas, the bass player. Okay, uh, like you said, uh, you are playing at the Wolf City Festival here in Berlin tonight. Uh, what are your expectations for the evening? They're good. It looks uh, Reptilian just played the first show, and uh, I think it was a good uh, crowd already. Yeah, so I think this is going to be a good gig. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of bands and a lot of people yeah. coming in tonight. Yeah. Uh, you are ending your European tour tomorrow in uh, Rotterdam, if I'm not mistaken. That's so correct. So how has the tour been? It's been very good. Uh, we've been to uh, some uh, <laughs> different kinds of uh, places. Um, I think the turnout has been pretty good uh, over most of the places we've played. Um, we played with some very cool bands. We played with uh, Schlecht, which is a Danish uh, black metal, heavy metal combination thing in uh, Copenhagen. It was very cool. And uh, yeah, so it's been good. It's been good shows and uh, good parties, some weird stories to take home. <laughs> Care to share any of those weird stories? No. Uh, better not. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, you have said that you want to capture the feeling of live performance on your albums. So, how important are live gigs for you? Oh, very important, I think. That's uh, probably the setting that works best for us, or would be the best way to appreciate our music, I think, because you get the full force and the f feeling to your stomach, not just to your ears. So, yeah, definitely enjoy playing live, and uh, I think... So, uh, what makes for a good live gig for you? Um, uh, as a band or as an audience or uh, both? Yeah. Both. Um, I, the music is the most important thing for me, at least personally. So everything has to work. We have to play the stuff uh, semi correctly <laughs> and d deliver a good like musician musicianship, and then also show some energy, put some energy into it. But um, I th the music is more important than stage props and stuff like that, for me at least, personally. Okay, so the music is more important than the big show? Yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, last year you released your newest album, uh, Return to the Void. Uh, what can you tell me about that album? Is it something? No, uh, well, it's uh, our fourth album, so, uh, and our first on Metal Blade. Uh, yeah, the thing with that album is uh, uh, our last two albums, they were double albums. So this time we wanted to do things a bit more uh, compact. So this one goes uh, in one LP. Uh, so the songs are maybe a bit more uh, to the point. But still, we the goal was to keep our expression as uh, execration, to keep those elements, but maybe just do it a bit more cut it a bit more to the bone yeah yeah and uh, how did the awesome uh, album art from Mr. Bielak end up as yeah. the cover yeah that's uh, what did you ask sorry uh, the album cover art yeah. from Mr. Bielak how yeah. did it end up in your cover it's really well it uh, it was uh, we asked him to do it so <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, yeah we got in touch with him and he was keen on doing it so uh, he came up with this concept and I think fits really good with the, the music and uh, everything. It uh, kind of says it all. Uh, yeah, so basically. Yeah. Um, he, he sent us some sketches and then we discussed it and then he finished it. And it's really awesome. Actually, I saw it, the original, in uh, Bergen uh, a while ago. He had uh, an uh, exhibition at, uh, you know, um, 
Beyond the Gates Festival. So it was really cool seeing the original artwork. I just wanted to add that uh, he started. We we gave him our concept for the album, basically, or for the title and the lyrics when he started out. So yeah. Yeah, you already touched on how your music has changed over the years, but um, how would you describe more in detail the evolution of your music? Um, overall albums, or yeah, yeah. I, I think there's a clear. Uh, we have four albums now, and there's a clear line. I think after the first one, so the first EP and the first album are quite different from what we do now, and not all that relevant to the stuff we do now. It's very. It's more like New York style choppy suffocation cannibal corpse inspired so uh, starting from odes we've started to incorporate more atmospheric themes and more doomy stuff and things like that and uh, then we've just kind of tried to find some kind of uh, new direction for each album so so each album has its own personality or is its own thing not just nine more songs but full concept i think uh, yeah, yeah. The band was uh, founded already in two thousand and four. So, uh, how would you describe this uh, journey of the band till this day in here in Berlin? That's, uh, <laughs> in one Easy question. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. Oh, no. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> is it? Uh, I don't know what to say really. But uh, yeah, we started out actually as uh, another project, uh, and then we kind of split that. And then Chris and Kato continued on as uh, execration. And uh, I and Jonas were, were doing something else. Uh, but then we found out, let's just merge. So that was maybe in 2006 Six. that we, we got this lineup. And since then, it's been a steady lineup, actually. Yeah. So no drama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's the first. Yeah. <laughs> what more can we say? Uh, the musical progression, I think, has been just very natural. Um, um, yeah, with every time we start to make an album, we start by piling up some ideas and figuring out where to go next. And then there's an initial period with some turmoil, and then we find a direction, and then we do it. Okay, uh, from the past to the future, uh, what are your plans for the band, and how does it look? For example, uh, this year. Are you doing some festivals? So is there some new music coming out anytime soon? I know the last time one came last year, but yeah. <laughs> uh, there's not going to be any new music coming out this year. I can promise you that. But uh, hopefully we will start to write uh, soon, I think. Uh, uh, start to work on something. Um, I think after every album, we've said that the next time we're going to do one in two years and then a, an extra year goes by. I have so it's been three years every time and every time you want to do it in two so we'll see hopefully we'll have something next year but it has to be good right so yeah yeah, yeah. and um i don't know we have uh gigs don't remember right now not too many booked as of this point um working on some fall festivals hopefully so. okay and uh, from where in norway are you from or is that important at all for your band uh, if it's, imp I don't think it's important for the band. But we are from Oslo, or at least we started in Oslo, yeah. and people keep moving away. And now our, uh, <laughs> yeah, so our uh, uh, our bass player now actually lives in Trondheim. Um, since this summer, still working fine. So yeah, it's, it's going to be the writing process. This next time will be a little bit different because he will not be able to regularly come to rehearsals and so on. But I think we'll manage. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, guys, and uh, all the best for the rest of the tour, the two gigs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you.